Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I hope that everybody is doing very blessed and everybody feels very safe within this space. Scorpios, how are ya? <laughs> we are going to see what shift, major shift is coming in, what major arcanas that you have to look out for, um, what huge changes are happening in your life. Let's just get into it. All the information for generals, you guys, are, well, for personals, I should say, is in the description box, okay? It's in the description box for you, Scorpios. So, y'all, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for being here for Scorpio. Remove anything that is of the negative or of dark magic. And replace it with light and forgiveness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So let's see here. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Thank you. Let me go ahead and Activate this light as well, Scorpio, because I want to keep tabs on the time. We are going to just, uh oh, is this working? Probably not. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay, so. Let's just see here. All right, Scorpio. Wow. The devil in reverse. That's like the first card. So some, it's like I'm getting like finally someone here is realizing their faults or their addictions. It seems like someone here has been dealing with a lot of negative behavior or negative traits or negative negativity or toxic situations within their lives. <clears throat> it's like they're taking back their life here or trying to make some form of decision. Yeah, they're taking back their lives within this situation, trying to break free. Okay. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, for those of you, because I'm seeing they're cutting off a lot of energy around them. Or this could be you. Knowing that whatever you have been going through wasn't right, wasn't healthy. And you're proclaiming back your power. This is going to take time. But in this energy, whoever this is, if it's not you, it's the person that you're dealing with that is trying to get back themselves here and cutting off a lot of people around them, trying to rest, trying to recharge, trying to reevaluate what has got going on in their lives. And it's going to take a while. And in this situation, you guys, I just feel like, you know, if you're dealing with someone that is quite distant and you haven't heard from them, because this is also a break like this is time for you to also fix yourself because you have the temperance also coming up here scorpios as well so obviously you know it's not all butterflies on your side or you know what you think what you you know some people just don't see the wrongs within them and it's time for you to reevaluate yourself as well you know no one is perfect here and what you want to be better about you this is a time to take for yourself okay choose yourself within this time and heal the temperance is showing up there is a lot of things that you're holding up a lot of things that you're carrying with the ten of wands whoever this person is for you they're trying to remove anything that is out of the negative because they came from negative negativity and they're realizing that they need to change that within themselves okay another thing that i'm seeing is like no communication no communication on your end. 
Okay? No communication here. A lot of you have Sag within your charts, or this could be your rising or your moon, but Sag energy is around you. I'm also seeing like this person's energy though. They're trying to really fulfill your cup. Because here you have the Ace of Cups, and it's full of love and compassion. And it's just an overwhelming energy of emotions. So this person really truly cares about you. But this person has a lot of things that they, they got to break the chain. This could be their family, their history, and it's just a cycle over and over. And now they're trying to break that chain, okay? Tell me more about this person. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and you have the Three of Cups here. So they want to celebrate. They want to move on. And they have this, they're, they're not ready to give up. But there's a lot of things. It's like I'm just seeing like this person is like less talk, more action. Like they're trying to put some action and put less talk about behind it. Like they're not trying to have people know their secrets and what they're about to do in life. I'm also seeing some kind of money issue here. Some kind of starting over. Like they're trying to get back their stability here, their control of their lives, okay? And they might just tell you about this, but I feel like they're doing little steps. I'm just seeing little steps here. Tell me more about Scorpio. Scorpio, you're quite confused. This is what I'm getting. You're quite confused here. You don't know if there's going to be a future between you and this person because you don't see no stability, no movement. This person isn't giving you stability because this person doesn't have no money. Okay, to make you feel like, you know, they can show you, you know, instead of just tell you. You know, right now I just feel like this person have a lot of overwhelming energy for you when it comes to love. So they might communicate that to you and there is no action. But there is something coming up, like they're planning something because they want to move forward with you. But you're feeling like you've been waiting a long time because this person has been stuck in something for some, sometimes. This this could be a relationship, a toxic relationship. Let's not, let's not miss that, <laughs> okay, for some of you, not all of you, okay? I'm just seeing like this person is coming from some kind of childhood trauma that they have been, have been affecting their whole life. And they have been drinking or having sex or gambling or having some kind of toxic behavior to mold that, to control that feeling that they had since childhood that they never took care of, they never healed about. But now they're trying to proclaim their power. They're trying to take back their power. They're trying to release this whole, this addiction, this person who could be a Capricorn as well <clears throat> that is trying to hold them back from being successful, okay? Let's see here. I'm also seeing some messages that you feel that you need. You feel like you need some kind of clarity within this situation that you haven't received yet. Like it's moving very slowly towards you. All right, so let's see what this person has going on. Let me move something, y'all. This is a bother in my... Here we go. This person is letting me know it's like an incompletion here. And I'm... What's Scorpio's energy? You're also like taking your time when it comes to kind of any emotions here. I feel like you're hasty though. 
You're giving me this hasty energy, like you just want to show up and communicate. You like you really feel like you just need to communicate. It's not a very organized communication. It's just showing up and saying what you need to say. Um, because you do want to be happy, you do want to be free, you do want to be full of life, you do want to have that 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 energy that you once had before. And I'm seeing like you're hasty to receive it. But you're not showing this person any form of emotions and this person is not invested. So it's like you're worried because of this person is not showing up for you, you know, but they do have some kind of movement that's coming in. It's like as more I'm pulling this person card, I'm seeing movement and it's getting stronger and stronger. They, they have this strong vision that they just want to to be very successful towards you. Like they already knew what they wanted within this relationship. Look at this. The Ace of, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the King of Wands. Tell me more about this person. Okay, so we have... Wow, look at that. Fated Energy, the Seven. So we have a couple Sevens. We have two seven, Sevens within their energy. And I just feel like they couldn't invest because they were doing something or they were trying to keep this away from coming out. They were trying to be controlling here. And finally, this person like gave up, gave up on this situation because they felt overwhelmed. Like, I feel like this could be their family that they were trying to like really please give them whatever they want. Or this could be a past relationship as well that was very toxic and they, you know, they had to do what they had to do to like really keep the peace here. But it's like fell out of some form of control. I just feel like this person was having money issues from the, you know, because I'm getting like a spender, you know, want, you know, to please others, give people gifts, you know, with this four of pentacles and, and not being able to afford it, but making other people happy. This is what I'm getting here and putting themselves in a lot of jeopardy as well. I'm also seeing the judgment as well. So there's a decision that they haven't even made yet. But they really want, you know, the happily ever after with this 10 of, um, well, the Wheel of Fortune, but it's a 10 card. It's, you know, their destiny to come true, you know, their, their, their fate. Like, they really want, they believe in love. You know, look at that, the Ace of Cups. They truly believe in love. Um, and they feel like something good is about to happen. OK, but there could be a cycle that is going on that they're trying to clearly break within this devil's energy. OK, so tell me about Scorpio energy, Holy Spirit. OK, so we have the seven. Ooh, ooh, I'll be, I'll be throwing up cards. Um, The six. Oh, I said the seven. No, the two sixes. So you have the six of swords in the reverse. You also have the knight of wands and you have the six of pentacles. So there's going to be a balance coming back. Um, but you got to have to be patient here. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel like this person is going to rush in. Um, no, I'm just seeing like this huge determination here. And I'm seeing on a huge attraction between you and this person as well. Um, I see that Scorpio, you might just want to have intercourse though. You know, you, that's, that's what you're missing right now with this person. You just miss being physical with them. And this is what you're really pointing towards. Um, yeah, you want to talk to them, but you feel like that connection that you need to like really, um, firm together again, like you feel like there's some kind of power into being very intimate with this, with anyone, with anyone that you have a relationship with, like that is your power, you know? Um, and this is how I'm seeing like you're coming in, but just remember Scorpio to be highly emotional. Okay. Um, even though. You might, because I'm just seeing like this person cares about you, period, point blank. I can't even just ignore that. But the way I'm seeing that your heart is, is like you're holding back, you know? You're holding back. There's no communication. And you're really being a little hard on the no communication. And how you, when you're really feeling like you're being like misled, like you, you, you really use this queen of swords, which is a higher power of like okay i'm not talking to you this person is backing away because they have mental issues <laughs> but not everybody's going to open up especially if this is a man for you scorpio 
a man or a woman, whoever you're dating right here, okay? If this is a man for you and there are, they have a masculine energy, okay? They're not going to open up and tell you about their problems mentally because they're going to, they want to be masculine. They want you to see them as masculine, right? They want you to see them as strong and like a provider. Like you don't have to worry about them. Like they got this, okay? They know how to handle, okay? <laughs> Um, so they're not going to tell you about their break, their breakdowns, you know, their, their dark thoughts and how they really view themselves, which is not how they look on the outside. This person could look so freaking good on the outside and take care of themselves, but that's a way to mold whatever they're feeling inside, right? When you go shopping a lot, when you have a shopping addiction, this could be another addiction, a spending addiction, a shopping, <laughs> listen, it doesn't have to be sex or drinking or drugs. So many ways you can have an addiction right you could be a, a addiction of cutting yourself trying to harm yourself you know but it's just a release right when you do it um but it's not good for you so so many things like this person don't want you to know or to see them as someone that needs help and this person seems like they might be seeing help tell me about this devil's energy or seeking some kind of help because they're having a breakdown Okay, we have the Ace of Wands that just flipped over. So this person seemed to not be moving right now within this Devil's Energy, especially when they're tapped into that darkness. Tell me about this Devil's Energy, Holy Spirit. Yeah, there's a journey. They have to take this on their own. But, you know, the crazy thing about this is they're on the right path, you know? They're on the right path. They got the destiny card. But I'm just seeing, like, this person is not communicating with you. So you have it all in your head. Like, you got to figure it out. But the truth is you don't because you're very hasty. You want to come in and communicate how you want to communicate. But I'm not seeing no no conversation. I'm just seeing, like, what you've been up to. What's going on? Da -da -da. You know, like, being really aggressive. Okay, so tell me more about this energy, Holy Spirit. I think yes, it was it yesterday I made a video and I said when it start raining, then it's gonna be the trees are and the leaves are gonna start growing in Atlanta. And kid you not, as soon as I said that yesterday, it rained all day. Today it's raining all day. <laughs> yeah. When I think like this is our spring, you know, right here. Spring is not even until what next month. Next month on the twenty first, right? I think it's twenty first, twenty second of March. If I'm not right, let me know. But their emotions are all over the place too. Look at that. They're struggling with themselves emotionally, really like a battle. Like, they're having a battle. They're also watching you as well. I'm seeing, like, keeping up with you. They're worried that they're going to lose you. Yeah, look at that. The 11-11. They're worried that you're not, they're not going to fix this in time. Like, they're making things worse with this connection, this relationship. Tell me more. Wow, a lot of you have a child or some kind of business with this energy with this person interesting tell me about this 10 and that's something that they want to remain healthy it's funny how they have the 10 here the 10 of pentacles then you have the ace of cups in the upright the three of cups the king of wands and then the destiny card the wheel of fortune yeah, they're going to have to make a decision here that is tearing them apart. They're going to have to open up to you emotionally as well because I'm seeing like they're struggling with that. Because I'm seeing the Ace of Cups that that means that they want to be your everything. They want to overflow your cup, but that doesn't mean that they're showing it. So there's a blockage emotionally here. They have to make a choice. They have to compromise. It's like you both are seeing two different ways or going two different directions with this sword. 
and it's really breaking your heart. Wow, an apology. A lot of you could be married or it's supposed to be going that way or engaged. I'm seeing an apology coming in. It's a little emotional, like compared to what they really want, but they're showing just a little bit. This person have emotional damages like they don't show their heart or how they feel because of what they've been through in their childhood all right so tell me about this queen of swords energy for scorpio holy spirit what is going on for scorpio here what is going on for scorpio this energy for scorpio thank you Wow, you feel like you've been mentally and physically challenged. You feel like you've been stabbed in the back. You feel like this was multiple times. You feel like this was a cycle. You feel like you have wasted your time here and you now you have to heal. Look at that, the temperance is coming in. Plus the ten of swords. Then you have the ace of swords that you just knew that. Like in your heart, you're saying there's no change, there's no breakthrough here within this energy. You're feeling some kind of way about it, Scorpio. You're feeling some kind of way about it. Okay. Yeah. You were going through some kind of dark hole here, but you're going to be re like re like releasing that force of energy, depression, anxiety, going back and forth within this the memory, trying to see what you could have did differently. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you're struggling, but you're going to be standing up for yourself. This is what I'm seeing here. This energy could be like you're being difficult, but you're not. Or you could be demanding, but you're just standing up. You're not nurturing this energy anymore. Look at that. The lover's energy. So you miss this person too. You want to be reunited with this energy. You want to have a union. You want to have a meetup. Like you just feel like there's an align alignment there like there is something special about this relationship you just can't explain it a lot of you could be dealing with your twin flame connection i'm seeing major shifts happen in here so there's going to be some form of call or meet up okay wow you feel like this person has been dealing with someone else and for some of you i'm just seeing like this seven here like you just been in relationships that constantly fails because Scorpio you're giving me the death energy which is your energy that you're always going through some kind of transition like you're always ending something and then start something back up with this seven of cups here these are multiple partnerships and you're ready to settle down with someone special Like the offers that you have or had, you're just, you don't want them. You want something new. You want something excited. The strength card. Like you feel like you're defeated when it comes to this. Like you just don't know what else to do. But remember, this person has a new perspective or a new found of way. So they're going to come in and try to work something out. But you feel exhausted. A lot of you could be married here because I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. And it's funny how the Ace of Pentacles is showing up on your end. Like there is going to be some force. There's some force of abundance coming into your life. A major shift of abundance or new um something new money new opportunities but this is also represents your family tree or your relationship and i'm also seeing like this person has this ten of pentacles which is kind of close to the ace like it's just the same thing and it's in the upright and it's like that that's the value that's the value being very traditional you know um <clears throat> this person is looking very traditional here in their beliefs what they really want i feel like they're trying to break their family tree um trying to break the way they do things what this person was raised to do tell me more on scorpio please justice in reverse so you feel like you have been lied to and i feel like you have within this justice because the justice wouldn't come up unless you were 
but you feel like you have been lied to. But the lie that I'm getting is that this person is just not upfront with you. So everything that they're trying to do or they're saying to you is becoming a lie because they're not sharing everything with you. Um, they're not sharing their darkest moments with you. I feel like this person is not trusting you and they're not telling you about the money issue. So on your end, it looked like this person is using you or, you know, trying to live off of you instead of being independent because you seem like you have like this person is say like this 10 the 10 that has been built the 10 of pentacles that has been built the foundation now they're not saying that they have built it but they're saying that it's important to them right to stay the same but you on the other hand have the ace of pentacles which is money coming in abundance new abundance coming in and that also represents the 10 so it seems that you're the one bringing the foundation in bringing that money in, that stability in for the home okay that they're really appreciating they're really trying to hold on to but yet the relationship with you is kind of it's tanking because they're looking at it as a two the 11 11 the four of wands in reverse and they're afraid you both are afraid because you have the 11 here he this person she whoever this masculine energy masculine <laughs> this masculine energy has this um 11 11 in reverse and then you have the strength so you're both afraid to speak to each other both afraid to talk about the truth um both afraid to hear what this person has to say about you and for you to you know it's vice versa it's a, it's like you know that you both are not you're blaming each other for this you're assuming things but none of you are perfect here because you showed up that you need to heal. You showed up that you had a Ten of Swords. And just because you have the Ten of Swords because of what you went through here doesn't mean that the Ten of Swords represents just this person. That, that cannot be. The Ten of Swords represents everything that you have been through within your life. And it's just like you just never healed from it. You just jumped into a new situation. This could be friendships. This could be jobs. Like, okay, say you have been fired from a job. You never healed from that. That really hurts when you, you've been let go from a job, okay? Even when it's something that <laughs> you don't care for. But they fired you. They had the nerve to fire you, right? So you jump into another job and they fired you too. And it's keep you keep having that cycle. So that's... That's something that you need to heal from because if somebody keeps firing you for you know maybe you need to take a step back <laughs> or letting you go and say hold on a second what's going on here what's going on here tell me more holy spirit tell me more for scorpio tell me more for scorpio Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tell me more for Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of you are tired. You've just been waiting for this person to come around or try to be better. But it's like you are waiting in vain. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you feel, you know, like this is a burden or this is boredom. Or you feel like you're missing opportunities. Like you're letting this person take over your life. You know, by waiting for this person, you're missing opportunities. This could be also, you know, other relationships within the Four of Cups, you know. Um, like you're putting this person above yourself. Or above you, I should say, like that. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Like you feel like the third wheel. Like you feel like something is going on. You don't know what it is, but you feel like the third wheel here. With this four of cups energy in reverse. Like their focus is elsewhere. Yeah, like look at that. The king of cups. You're funny how they have the ace of cups. You have the king of cups. Like you're not receiving. You know, they want to give you this whole love. They want your cup to overflow, but you're saying you're not receiving what they, you know, they want to give you. It seems like you feel like they're still shopping or they're still looking. Like, you feel like they're still looking. Maybe they have other options here. Tell me more. Like, they're emotionally manipulating you. Like, you feel like you're emotionally manipulated. 
I'm also seeing like whatever hardship that you did face, Scorpio, like you're going to be getting out of that situation. Okay. You're going to be discovering a way out. I feel like a lot of you are going to be jumping into spiritual active activities. Okay. And really start praying. And that prayer is going to lead you out of whatever you got going on. Look at that. Wow. Gemini energy. Gemini Virgo and a magician. Like you're going to be taking back that power. Like you're going to be asking a divine God for help and you're going to be receiving whatever you want. You know, I'm seeing like you're taking action in this. You're better in your skills here and you're be really bringing positive energy back into your life. Whatever that might mean for you. Okay. Positive vibes for to get whatever you want. Okay. So. Wow. That was really deep. All right, so let me just do a full thing about how this person feels, right? So we just go, not just, just do three cards, but I'm going to do a whole swatch how this person feels for you. All right, so let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. This is going to be for this person that's coming through for Scorpio. How this person feels for Scorpio? How does this person feel for Scorpio? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guide. Ancestors, thank you for being here, for guiding me. How does this person feel for this, for Scorpio Collectives? Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, removing anything that has the darkness, anything that is blocked for Scorpios, and then placing it with light and free space. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, y'all. This person is very attracted towards you. This is how they're feeling. They feel very, like, passionate towards you. Like a, a whole bunch of fire <laughs> towards you. <laughs> a flame. They want a new beginning with you. They want a new chance. They want to start over. This is what I'm getting here. They want to plan so what am i seeing like um conversation taking place where um you guys are just like when you talk you're like planning things um i feel like you need to focus on trying to resolve whatever separated you guys in the first place and then work on that and then you know the creation would come later on it's not like it's going to be missed you know but you're just like trying to really communicate and be on the same page before trying to oh my god i miss you oh my god yeah we didn't talk oh my god i don't understand why but let's let's just plan let's just plan because we belong together <laughs> tell me more for this person's energy <clears throat> okay i'm seeing some form of confusion here They, they don't know which direction they need to take. They're confused within their lives. Ooh. There's no communication. Like this person is saying like, damn, you know. They don't know. I Okay, so this is what's happening. All right. So, you know, the, the first card, it is what it is. You know, they they do want a new beginning with you. Do want, you know, an, a, a fresh start, you know, something that could come in very quickly as well. Um, but they don't know what the future lies between you and them. They're looking at this as I don't know what you got. Am I going to stay on this path or am I going to go with Scorpio? I don't know because there's no communication here. There's no one coming in, trying to be the better person or the bigger person. You know, I feel like when we pulled this person's energy, we had the page of wands earlier, like they're going to make some form of way and they are because here's the ace of swords that's overriding, overriding the page of wands that there is going to be a breakthrough spiritually. There is going to be a new direction. There is going to be truth. There is going to be clear path and understanding. Look at this, this is the victory card. The spiritual card this is happening with spirit this is happening with the divine god this is happening with the angels this is not man-made this is not when i say man-made human beings us you know creating things or making a choice no 
this is coming in by the universe. The universe is doing things with this person's situation, with your situation behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. So there is a breakthrough here. Even though when this person thinks there is no breakthrough, nothing is going to happen. And boom. <clears throat> wow. Full blast of power here coming through. Major shift. Massive shift. Massive energy coming towards you and this person. Look at this. This is like crazy. It's just lined up so perfectly too. Lined up so perfectly. You know, I got to take a picture <laughs> for your thumbnail, y'all. <laughs> you know I do. Okay, period. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just put these back. But yes, this is what I'm seeing here. Cancer energy for some of y'all. Seen that major arcana for cancer. Tell me more. It's funny how you have two aces too. Major shifts happening. Look, boom, boom. Like. Even though they don't know which direction they're going to take with this ace of wands, it's like they have the light, like they're being led. There's movement. This is a movement card. <clears throat> this is a movement card coming towards you. There's no communication. It's like they're blinded. No communication. Like they're just diving into something. No idea what they're going to, what's going to happen. Like if it's going to work. Tell me more. Tell me about this person's feelings for Scorpio. Look at that. Another spiritual energy. Judgment. <laughs> Another spiritual energy. Seven of Wands. Look at the Seven of Wands, though. A seven of Wands always coming up. <sighs> and the crazy thing with this person is like, because when I pull their energy, it's like before they were saying the Seven of Wands was in reverse. Like they just gave up, gave up on all control and let everything fall where the chips needs to fall. But in this energy, it's like the way they come, like the way they're talking about their energy with you is just. They're still trying to hold on to that, still trying to preserve whatever image they want you to see about them is important. They're still trying to hold back and trying to like let you see that. And that's the decision, too, that they have made because the judgment is coming up. But there's some kind of lies, too, or betrayal that has been done here. Because I'm seeing the seven of swords. I'm seeing that there is no communication because of it. So this is the part why you guys are going through this or you guys are going through a separation because ah, or a lot of you could be in a relationship that you're not even communicating, like walking past each other, calling it a day. This is what's popping. You have, you know, feeling very indecisive. <laughs> Like a decision needs to be made here. Waiting for some form of information. Feeling really confused about the matter. Did I make the right decision? Going back and forth with a decision. Maybe, maybe not. I'm also getting this three of cups. Wanting to like really celebrate and move on from all of this. But all of this is in the middle of everything. Like the lies, the betrayal, the decision, breaking bridges. Like don't want to break bridges. But at the same time, you just, it's like you have no control over it. And I'm seeing the ju the judgment here too. So Aries, Major Arcana, Libra, Major Arcana, for those of you that resonates with that, that's a confirmation for you. Scorpios, thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father for Scorpios. Ooh. Tell me more for this person's feelings for Scorpio.
Wow, so you have the Hyperon also showing up. Taurus energy, you guys. I'm also seeing the Three of Wands energy, the Seven of Cups. You have the Eight of Swords and the Ten. When it comes to this person's energy for you, when it comes to their feelings for you, it's like I'm just getting a lot of back and forth. I'm getting a lot of back and forth, honestly. But you have some major powerful massive energy that is like shoo, 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 like coming through um like the ace of wands the ace of swords crazy energy you have the judgment here as well you have the three of cups you have the hyphenant wow so i'm seeing some kind of influencer people that are trying to tell them to not do this forget, forget about you to move on you know because of everything that has been happening i'm also seeing like these people are someone that has you know some kind of emotional connection to them and might just want to have their way with them you know this is what i'm getting here because i'm getting like these folks that's coming through doesn't particularly want them to be happy if it's if if the happiness is not them you understand if it's you they're going to do everything in their power to dis to, to sabotage this connection um it's like i'm just seeing like this this person noticed that too because their back is turned i feel like this person also made some kind of decision as well that really messed up the the, the relationship scorpio because they're looking at this like you guys been in this boat for some time and they missed the ride they missed it's like they had you slip through their fingers this is what i'm getting here and they're making a decision way too late like they're coming home way too late like they want to work on this foundation this relationship way too late they want to be old-fashioned way too late <laughs> <clears throat> And they're finding out what they really want and who they are as a person way too late. Like, this is how they're feeling, you know? This is not what it is, but this is how they're feeling inside. Um, there's a lot of being stuck here, but I'm also seeing, like, this person is going to release themselves. And that's the devilish energy that we picked up earlier. Um, I'm also seeing, like, there is some kind of healing that is needed within this person's energy, okay, as well. There's a lot of healing right here. Um, I'm also getting like there was some kind of um, self-esteem abuse that this person faced. I'm getting the two. But they want a really good future. Like they're planning for the future when it comes to you. And they want you in, yeah see they want you in their future that's what that is celebration harmony marriage home again marriage is coming up marriage is coming up high for Rond, very traditional kind of way um they want you they want y'all to just get over this hurdle okay that <laughs> you got going on together to hopefully get over it this person clearly needs to heal. So even though they have the devil in reverse here, just keep in mind that they're struggling mentally and physically. Remember, we have the four of swords for this person energy on their side. So they're struggling mentally. Um, I'm just seeing that. I just feel like they really want to work things out here. But you see, everything is going to depend on the truth because the truth is not revealed and if you can handle it or not because that's some form of betrayal like you're going to be feel betrayed within the situation some of you this person could be coming out of some kind of toxic relationship <laughs> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This person feelings for Scorpio. <clears throat> Keep seeing this Nine of Cups energy. Like they want to fill every cup that you got going on. Remember that Ace of Cups? Look at that. 
I'm trying to get rid of it, y'all. Okay, you have the star now that's shown on the back. Okay, so there's going to be some kind of spiritual, like I said, spiritual energy opportunity coming in. A huge shift, massive, not a huge, a massive shift of energy of trying to work this out. And this is where the chance is going to be like increased for success. Okay, whatever you guys are going through, it's like, okay, this is going on, but it's going to be like opportunities coming in for success, you know, that is going to help you. Yes, you're going to have your craziness, but it's going to give you a chance to choose if you're going to want to stay and work this out. You have the Empress again in their energy. You also have the King of Pentacles and then you have the King of Swords. So they're just letting me know that you and this person is not speaking. There's no new form of communication. It's like masculine, feminine energy coming about, like some kind of similar energy between you and this person. And there is no form of communication. With that information, it's like nothing new. Um, everything is the same. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> no change with that form of communication. This is where spirit comes in and help you guys out i'm also seeing a huge form of security okay but there's something about this person that's giving me like okay i do have the security and they're looking at you as a, the king of pentacles right so they're also looking at you as a masculine when it comes to the stability of the relationship and remember we point that out earlier because this person was giving me the ten of pentacles and then you were giving me the ace so you are the provider something about you are providing the stability it doesn't have to be money it could be time within this relationship it could be the plans of this relationship like let's go on a date you're doing everything to keep this relationship flowing keep this relationship going and this person is really appreciating that they're not doing anything on their end, but they really appreciate that. It's like I'm getting like you're teaching them how to do that for other people because they've never been taught. Okay? And that's something that they do appreciate because they look at that, at that, that situation in the upright. Like it's the most healthy thing for them within their life. Okay? All right. So let's see. A lot of you are telling me like this person talk too much or you can't get your 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 say out you can't get your you know what you want to talk about like they talk above you so now there's no communication because i'm just seeing like how this person is looking at this is like there's like this huge blockage because they're kind of childish and they just don't get it um or they just like they talk too much. You know, I'm just getting like this talk too much and just no action behind it. And this is something that we talked about again. And it's like coming up like they notice this. Maybe they jump into things very quickly without thinking about it. There's no thought. They're just like being very hasty. I'm also seeing letting go like there's a breakup here. I just feel like there's some kind of breakup because it's like they're looking at you as someone that you let them go. And you're protecting yourself mentally with the four of pentacles in reverse. Like you're just, you're not doing this anymore, holding on to someone that Basically, they're talking about the Four of Pentacles. You know, they had the Four of Pentacles in their, their side. You know, like, you want more. You see how that could just change? Like, they want to give you that stability. They want to start over. You know, act like... It's like I'm just getting, like, this person you could be dealing with for years. And they are still in the dating phase. You know, like, something ain't right. Something don't feel right. Like, you're not moving forward. Like, a lot of your friends might be engaged or married and they only, they only been together for four years. And you're here dating this person probably longer than that. And you're still in this age, this age of they're living separately. You're living separately. <laughs> you know, you're not even living together. Like, things are just not moving the way you thought this, this would. Or a lot of you that are married, it's like you did this. You made sure to get the stability. You made sure to get the house. You made sure to get this. You made sure to get that. So this person had no other choice but to have that marriage life. They did not put in anything within that. 
And for those of you who are dating, it's like the same thing that you're going through. It's like you're doing that stability and you're heading that, that same way, that same path on that same path. For those of you who are married and how you got married, how you got there in that foundation. Wow. So that's the energy that I'm feeling with this person. They're kind of in this slow lane, but I'm, I'm feeling like you're dealing with someone that is definitely dealing with some kind of self-reflection. Like this person is giving me vibes of like, they're really like struggling. They're really struggling. So let's get some messages from this beautiful deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and see what's going on here. Thank you. What's coming in for Scorpio? What Scorpio needs to be aware of? What's the energy here around Scorpio? <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on for Scorpio? Let me see something. Stop. Uh-oh. Did I do this right? Clear. And let me just stay on track. Where are we? <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Going on, Scorpio. Okay, we're gonna get these shuffled. Okay, period, point blank. <laughs> we're gonna get this shuffled. Period, point blank. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Father, Holy Angels, for Scorpio. All right, we just want to get some energy in here for Scorpio. I just seen something fly on the side of my eye. All right, we have the four. So you found, look at that. Firm foundation, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. The full energy. Like firm foundation. Is either this going to make you guys stronger? Or are you just going to end up going your way? And it's like, I'm not getting like whoever's trying to sabotage this connection. Like what I got earlier. It's not going to work for them. Because this energy is giving me vibes of like you and this person is going to choose to leave from each other on your own you and this person if you're going to break up it's going to be because of you in this person decision it's firm there is no codependency only with um them provide them because i'm getting codependency not when making decisions but um i'm getting codependency like this person is codependent on you something about your energy because they're showing up as the empress in reverse around you so like they are having some form of stability issue like they have not built their life the way you have you know like they're kind of slow or trying to catch up to you in some form of way tell me more we have the 12, we have the four, another four. I'm hearing like, take your time, relax, heal. There is going to be some kind of sacrifice, co like compromise. <sighs> this is what I'm hearing. Like there is going to be compromise here. Sacrifice. I'm seeing like this person is going to be making some force of choice to come towards you. Making some form of movement to come towards you. It's not about scores, but I'm just seeing like this person is not going to be able to wait too long. I'm also hearing patience, y'all. If you don't want to be the first one, that's fine. 
but you have to have patience because I did see Scorpio that you were very hasty to run in and try to figure out like, okay, I haven't heard from you, da 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 da. You haven't talked to me. Like, what's really going on here? So I'm seeing like the 47 is coming now, the thinking woman and the man holding a heart. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, for those of you masculine. I'm also seeing feminine here as well. So there's a lot of information that is coming towards you and you're going to have to sit back and think. But I'm also seeing there's a new beginning here. Let me just slip in real quick. Maybe I need to go a little three. Look at that butterfly. You know, the details do matter, you know. I'm also seeing some, some kind of tree behind her where there's some kind of investment here. But I'm seeing like somebody is doing a lot of research or trying to better themselves or trying to like better their skills. It's like someone is getting a lot of messages, a lot of letters, a lot of texts within this connection. Like they're discovering a lot of information and they're trying to ca get all caught up in number 47. I'm also seeing number 45, number 4, number 12, number 4. But this Scorpio energy, this man holding a heart is coming off as someone that, again, really wants to be with you. Um, someone that is very trustworthy when it comes to your heart. At least this is how they're appearing. They, they appear the same this whole reading. <laughs> you know, they appear the same this whole reading. Like they want that to be that person for you, but there is no stability. Um, so they're having a hard time getting their lives together. But I feel like that's the balance because you have it together within mentally. You have it together and this person doesn't. And so you're trying to teach them that. And they're they're trying to teach you how to open up. Even though you're a water sign, I'm getting that when I saw your cards, like you're holding back on your emotions because you don't want to be hurt. You don't, you know, it's like, I'm seeing this energy. Let me just go back. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Pisces energy, sacrifice. A sacrifice energy. This person might be looking like they're not making any movements too. Holding back, watching you kind of vibe. But they're coming in. And look at the rainbow. You see? You just cannot read or judge, you know, someone on the surface. Because you never know what's lingering inside. Because this person obviously had good intentions or still do. And that's that I'm just seeing like this person is tainted. This person is damaged. You know, this person needs a lot of, you know, help. You know, whatever you are offering is wonderful. But at the same time, like everybody, every I always stand by everybody in this world needs some kind of help. You know what I mean? doesn't matter if your life is good or not. It's just everybody needs some kind of therapy. Um, and this person is just giving me the vibe. It's like no matter how good their life is, it's just like this dark darkness that is very heightened in them, you know, and it's it's not about how they view you. They're very thankful for you. That's what I'm receiving. But at the same time, I'm just getting like they had a lot of demons to fight them through their selves, you know. And I'm just seeing like it just the, the action that I'm seeing is very slower movement towards you. And this is where you're thinking because you need that emotional love and support because you're a water-based sign. So you need that, you know, confirmation and, you know, that constant like, okay, this person wants to be here. Once this person starts to show cold fever, you automatically go into a place like, okay, something ain't right. <laughs> this person is either, you know, they're having a bad day, but when it's going on over and over again, and then they're just, they're so distant, they don't want to hang out. It's worse so if you guys don't live together because you're seeing this person less and less and you're like, okay, what's going on? 
what's going on here um it's just like and when you live together you're like okay do you want to still live together because you you really coming at me in a way that i'm not used to so what's going on are you seeing somebody else because you know that's just the logical way right when somebody start acting up for no apparent reason the first thing we think about is like okay why are they trying to argue with me they're seeing somebody else like what's going on but this person right here i'm not getting that they're seeing someone else i'm just getting that they're having a lot of self-reflection energy going on and they're trying to save themselves because and it's like i'm just getting like they're just so into this energy like they when they wake up and get out of it and that's a form of depression y'all mental depression um everything passes by like they don't know they just miss all the celebrations they miss their relationship you end up with somebody else like and they don't even know where time have gone because they were so stuck in some kind of depression Aries energy is also coming through here for those of you but a lot of you held on very long with this energy because you already know but it's still draining because you want that love and affection you want that relationship that everybody else have you want that tv love <laughs> tv is tv y'all <laughs> tv is tv that's why it's tv okay oh my gosh so i'm seeing like there's going to be a lot of success if you believe that's what your angel gods are saying this is your six this is your contract it says that you're on the right path look at you you're in the boat you're going towards that light going towards that new journey you're almost there basically they're saying that and I'm, and then you got that spiritual energy right that ace of swords energy that is letting you know scorpio like you're going to be okay then we have the nine the nine card to seek so a lot of you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations but your angel guys are also with you so you feel drained you feel like you're exhausted you feel like you want to walk away you feel like you're beaten up but they're saying to take a rest look at the rest card take a rest trust within the divine god trust within the angels trust within your spiritual guides, and know that you are on the path of greatness you know you're not alone within this journey even though you feel like oh my god i seem like i'm doing it all by myself but you're not doing it all by yourself your angel god's been there all this time Woo, I'm feeling them right now, okay? Feeling them right now, holding these cards and just like really receiving these messages for you. So they're saying really believe in that. Believe in yourself, okay? They wouldn't put you in a situation or have you select this path that you needed for your soul development if you weren't strong enough or you weren't ready, okay? There's going to be blessings that are coming towards you too within this situation, all right? Balance, Libra energy, Libra energy number 14 y'all a lot of you are going through some kind of twin flame I know I said that but I'm seeing that again twin flame energy coming out that's what I'm seeing here twin flame energy it's like you're being taught you're teaching them you need each other within this life victory Woo! number 28 the victory it's crazy how they're coming out to like really push this because i'm also seeing the belief in success like you're on the path like they're reminding you like look you're almost there you're almost there Whew. it says magician in the mirror so again some kind of reflecting yourself or some kind of mirroring yourself here but i'm also seeing it's time to like really tap into your power because you have the power of some kind of a Gemini placements within your chart. A lot of you could be a Gemini rising or a Gemini moon or some kind of placements with Gemini within your chart, Scorpios. Or a lot of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but this is something about you. They're saying to look yourself in the mirror, like magician in the mirror. And also start to manifest what you want. Bring things to life. This is number 28, number 53, number 24. 
there are also so many things like a lot of you are like what am i supposed to do with my life i don't know i'm lost and they're like you have so much possibilities that the doors are open and you have not not even finished these doors go back to who you were go back to what you enjoyed i'm just getting like a lot of you um I'm just getting like a lot of you try to make this person happy or whoever this person was, you try to make them happy by giving them what, like doing whatever they wanted to do. But the truth is, this person didn't even know what they wanted to do. You know, you see the gag? This person didn't even know what they wanted. This person, so it's just best to just be who you are, you know? Be organic. Don't change for nobody because the truth is the reason why they seek you out because you're different, right? You're different than what they're used to. So when you start changing and molding yourself into something that someone will like, no. When you keep them on your toes or their toes, that's what they like. Because you're not boring. You're, you're different. All right, so let's just keep going. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the Scorpio. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, now, let me just see what this is, because I don't know. I was going to put it back, but, you know. Ooh, temptation number 15. This is like the devil energy for me for some reason. Look at this. I'm just going to go zoom in a little closer so you guys can see the art. Okay, and let's just see if this could. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this person, number 15, is giving me, like, devil energy temptation here. Um, this could also be the lovers in some cases. Like, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, you know? Someone trying to leave, someone trying to stay. There's a form of control. This could also be dark magic, trying to hold somebody, bound somebody to you. As you can see, two people, all right? I hate that stuff, but because I just don't get it. Because see, when you do that to other people, I don't know what who is this for. Because I hate talking about black magic, okay, or dark magic, or let's just talk about it, voodoo, okay? Let's just talk about it for what it is, all right? Spell work. Um, everybody is here for a certain experience. And everybody has a soul contract. You cannot come here into the world and go ahead and create your own soul contract that is not on a spiritual level within the light of the holy divine God. Okay? And it will be and it will be justified. You just can't do it. <laughs> okay? Um and for those of you who are doing this and then you're holding on to somebody because of fear, because you know that they're leaving. And the truth about a contract, when, and I want to be clear, just because you are a soulmate connection or your twin flame connection and you're supposed to be in each other's lives forever. No, some people are very like so disconnected and they don't realize that sometimes you come. It depends on what your experience is. is on this world and if you have an abandonment issue you're most likely are going to run to the spell worker and going to do a spell work because you have abandonment issues this is what you're here to deal with your abandonment issues you're not here to put some kind of spell work be on a someone that is going to leave you anyways because if the contract you see you cannot override the spirit <laughs> no matter what you do so you're wasting your money Okay, going to do spell work. You're wasting your money. Because when you have a spiritual connection to, like, you're here spiritually. Everybody's here spiritually. But I'm trying to say this in a way that you understand. Because when you guys come here on a spiritual contract from the divine God, you came here, you were selected, okay, to help the universe to evolve, to help your soul to develop to a higher level, okay? And everything is already pre-prep, pre-prep. Oh my God, pre-prepped for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And that person also have a contract. 
you have to realize that that contract just because that person is your soulmate or your twin flame doesn't mean the contract is identical do you hear me doesn't mean that contract is identical that soulmate or that twin flame connection could assign a be assigned a contract they're going to have like three different wives or three different husbands within their lifespan because they're here to experience different love but only one of those loves are the strongest doesn't mean that you're going to end up together but it's the strongest experience of them all the soulmate the twin flame right so you cannot break a spiritual contract when you're trying to hold someone, what it's going to do is make it look like this. And what happens within dark magic sometimes, not sometimes, most of the time, because when you put a spell on someone, the love that they have for you turns to hate. And this is what a lot of people are experiencing, a lot of hate from this person. Like, they hate me even more since I did this spell work. They're treating me really badly since I did this spell work because you're playing with the divine God. You cannot break it. That person is not meant to be in your life at that moment. That person has a journey to take within their contract and they're trying to break free and you're messing with the divine God's plan. And you're going to have to answer for that. This is what this is reminding me of. This is what this is reminding me of. Somebody's trying to break free here. Some kind of dark magic is holding them down, bonding them. Look at this. This person is trying to come towards the light. Look at the face trying to separate from this person. Separate from this person. Trying to ask for help from the divine light. The light that I always talk about within my reading. You cannot do this, y'all. Whoever this is, and I'm not, listen, this is for somebody. They know who they are. You're messing with the, the process. It's not going to end well for you. And you know, the thing about this is when hate happens and when somebody's possessed, let's talk about it. Let's go deeper because when you're using dark spells, who do you think you are calling upon? <laughs> to do this work for you do you think it's free you're selling your soul to the devil so the devil can have one of their people go ahead and come into this person's life in this person's house to bind them to you and this person has no idea right but they're acting different, going crazy. They're saying things that they can't, they just don't know why they're calling you all kinds of name, ho, slut, bitch, this, that. You know, listen, I don't mean to curse, but you know what it is. I guess this session of the video is going to be about spells because we need to talk about it. Okay. But, and you're wondering why you, this person is being so disrespectful when they're supposed to love you. They did love you. But as soon as you start doing them dark magic and burning them candles, <laughs> okay, spell candles, love candles. What do you think that is? Love candles. And saying this person's name and no, that's spell work. I don't believe in that stuff. You know how many times company reach out to me about candles, spell candles and, and trying to I, and how many times I tell them like, no, no, I don't believe in that stuff. Please stop emailing me to sell it to my viewers. Are you crazy? But this is what's going on here. This person is in the light. <laughs> Listen now. Can I? Okay. Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm getting there. Thank you now. All right. They want me to talk about this light. Look at the demon that's holding this person. This person is trying to get out. Right. Let me just tap on this because I want you to see this person is trying to get out of this situation. The Holy Spirit is there. The light is getting brighter and brighter. This is the key. The Holy Spirit is the key. Do you see the key? The Holy Spirit is the key. This person is reaching out to this whole the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there to rescue because look at this slush in. 
This means that the Holy Spirit arrived because this person is screaming for help and saying, my God, rescue me from this dark place because someone is binding me. This person is asking for help within the Holy Spirit, within their ancestors, and they're being, they're being rescued. The power is so great that they're splitting away from you. And you're going to have to be judged. And as they're splitting away from you, you're the one that's going to be caught up into this dark magic, this spell. So the same demon that you called upon to harm someone is going to harm you. This is crazy. This is crazy. Number 15, y'all. I don't know. That's crazy. All right. We have a few other messages here. Wow. Angel Michael coming in. Talk about right on time, right? The strength card, courage, Angel Michael, protection, Angel Michael. There's nothing that can come against you, Angel Michael. Have strength, have faith. I'm here. Do not feel defeated. I am here to protect you. I'm here to give you that strength. Angel Michael is going to place all the angels within your life to protect you. And I'm talking about the light, Scorpios. Okay, I'm not talking about the ones that did dark magic. <laughs> okay, because you got to listen, I'm a Scorpio myself. I don't have nothing against Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio. November 17th. Okay. Big time. People can't stand me, y'all. <laughs> People can't stand me, y'all, because I'm a Scorpio. I be saying, my, you know, speaking my mind, I can't stand fakeness. I can't stand it. If you're fake, stay away from me. Period. All right. So you have opportunities here that's coming in. I feel like you're going to be fulfilled for those of you. Like you're going to be on your throne. You're going, this is going to last. The victory. Four and four. This is all about your fulfillment, your family. For those of you who are like, oh my God, I'm getting older. I haven't been in a real relationship. It's coming. Once you love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself and you think that you want a relationship to complete yourself, like, well, how does that make sense? If you are wanting a relationship from the Holy Spirit to make you happier or to make your life seem more interesting, then you're not going to get it. You need to get out. You need to love yourself. You need to value yourself. You need to go on vacations by yourself. You need to enjoy yourself. It's only one you. Enjoy it. Because when that person does come in, when you enjoy in yourself and you're at a level of like, I love myself and you're at this high vibration, then this person is going to come in and you're going to be like, damn, I wish I just really traveled a little bit more. <laughs> I wish I really had some time for myself a little bit more because it's going to take a lot to deal with another person all the time. So a lot of you, because you're single and you've been single for a while, it's a purpose. What are you doing within this time of being single? Stop searching for love and search within. Stop searching for love from other people and search within. It's hard, but we have to do it, y'all. <laughs> we have to love ourselves. If we all loved ourselves in this world, this world would be in a, a different kind of world. If we all loved within and then be able to love other people the same, because when we love within, we have so much love with, to give within. We just love ourselves and we just want to share that love, that experience that we have for ourselves with other people. So it's like a, a cycle. It goes around and around. This world will be a better place. But someone feels hopeless here, like there's a decision that needs to be made here. You don't know what. The confusion is still coming up. I'm also seeing that you're going to get some get some award from the Holy Spirit. It says well-deserved reward within the nine. You have a couple nines here, and this is because you've been resting. You've been trying to heal for those Scorpios that knows who you are. Remember, this is a general, so this is for all kinds of people. Scorpios with different moon signs, different rising signs, okay? Some is on the healing journey. Some is not. Some is in a relationship in here. Some is, you know, single for a while and they don't know why they're single for a while. And they want a relationship to be feel better about themselves. Or some kind of codependence, like you're just in relationships all the time. 
So a lot of you could have an ear quality within you. Move very fast, okay, and swift. <sighs> All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. <laughs> For Scorpio. We're going to also get in some messages because I really feel like we should from this person's energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Ooh, contract is coming up. Number six. Look at that. Contract. So contract. I'm also seeing balance here too. A lot of you are doing some kind of work and trying to find out what your contract implies for this life. On a spiritual level. Number five, a lot of you are going to be trying to get out of this. It's going to be an energy of filling your fives. So like emotional loss, a lot of money issues, if you're not careful, because this is financial and material changes. So this could either be good or bad, but this number five is usually, you know, you giving away your money. at that <laughs> look at that number 13 your finances that's crazy we just talked about that and we just pulled some cards now let me turn on this light because it's just there's no sun outside look at this i just talked about that this is when you know the holy spirit is just here here when i started this reading like when i was getting into it i saw this white light just right between right in my eye the side of my eyes and I know I said it on camera um and I just knew I just I was like oh my angel gods <laughs> coming up in here making sure that some messages are actually gonna be told up in here because it's needed some somebody needs to hear all of this somebody need, is going through a lot of finances and you need you're being warned stop spending on things that you don't need. Somebody has a spending issues or giving their money away. Because this is the fives. Like you're giving your money away. To another energy. Something about contract too. Because I'm seeing like you need to watch what you're signing as well. This could be a marriage and this person's like, okay, sign this. <laughs> and you don't know what the hell you're signing. You need to be very careful. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Tell me mo. The journey within. Happy family. Patience. Wow. Number five, obstacles and challenges. So I'm seeing like you're going to have everything that you ever wanted. And this is what the angels are saying, period, point blank. Scorpios, you're going to have everything that you ever wanted within this life, right? But with everything, like the rappers always say, is it big... Big Diddy, no wait, no, I'm sorry, sorry, don't, don't come for me, is um, Biggie, Biggie, right? He said, more money, more problems, right? I said Diddy, sorry, sorry, Biggie, sorry. <laughs> but um, he'd say, you have more money, more problems, more successes, more problems. So, and I'm seeing like, that's exactly what you're going to be. Because you have the challenges, obstacle and challenges. And the, the angels are saying, wait a second. Be patient because we're going to be with you with this patient card, the temperance, this energy, the divine God healing, Angel Raphael. Let's just say that because Angel Raphael is all about healing, love, right? And I think Gabrielle is about messages, but we're going to get into that one another time. Um, 
but I'm seeing Angel Raphael coming to you like from Angel Michael. Angel Michael is placing him to protect you, to make sure that you're healing, make sure that you're choosing yourself, right? Make sure that you know that you're, 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 there's always going to be some kind of balance back into your life. Like, don't worry. Whatever you feel like you're being lost or be, ever have been lost, you're going to receive that. Whatever you feel like is off balance is, is going to come back onto balance. Look at all this. You're walking on this, like, I'm going to say a little wood that is broken, right? And you, you are standing upright. You're not falling down. And this is the river down here. Let me just look, zoom in a little bit for y'all. The river down there, okay, period. And this wooded thing is broken. I'm gonna say wood because, you know, basically it could be solid, but, and your angels guides are all around you, clearly. Your angel guides are all around you. And they're saying it's going to be obstacles, meaning that things are gonna look like you have no way to get on the other side, like, like this has been happening for so long you feel like there's no way to get on the other side you feel like there's no hope you feel like you're hopeless like things are hopeless like look at this hopeless helpless right energy this is what it is let me just go down a little bit hopeless and helpless you don't know what's going on and there's going to be challenges but you have your angel right in the center of it all protecting all of this guiding you through all of this it says happy family so whoever is against you is going to fall whoever is against you is going to fall do you understand <laughs> oh my gosh all right let me just get into your energy scorpio and see what you want from this energy from this person and then we're gonna end this reading period point blank because i'm realizing it's already at 126 period oh you know what i did say that i wanted to pull some let me just do that first and then we're gonna do what you got going on here okay this what you want from this person energy so let's see what the messages are from your person and see if there's something that's going to come out for you as well holy spirit holy angels holy father guide me through these messages for Scorpio, what does this person want Scorpio to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. For Scorpio. <clears throat> what is the message for Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Let's see message for Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. You have three cards here. One of them is not from your person, though. So this could be you or um, your person energy. But it says, I still remember you asking if I cheated. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, wow elephant in the room <laughs> look at this let's talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> oh shoot this person though and it has an elephant sticker that's crazy you guys you must know my mom did these cards i love it she's just she's so spiritual um so y'all crazy let's when somebody said let's talk about the elephant in the room i still remember you asking me well i'm gonna say asking if i cheated yes i did why do they sound like that so that's the lies and deception that you need to find out as well some of you gonna run for the hill some of you are not so and the crazy thing is, this doesn't have to be your person because it doesn't say your person. This could be you, Scorpio. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, Scorpio. This clearly, these other cards says your person on the top, your person on the top. 
This one doesn't say nothing. It says, I still remember you asking if I cheated. Yes, I did. And that's the elephant in the room. And you know, for those Scorpios out there that cheated, you know this person has a lot of mental issues. Why would you cheat? Because you know they already have trauma, their family, that's where they're from, cheating and destroying deception and, you know, lies and betrayal and stabbing each other in the back and now they have to deal with you someone that they decided that you are the light you're the sun you're their joy you're their stability they enjoy the family that they built together the life that they built together and here you go cheating and now they have to realize they have to put you with everybody else the deception the lies the cheat the betrayal that is crazy. I don't mean to sound like that, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> because, listen, so let's just get to your person, okay? Because nobody's innocent. <laughs> okay. Um, it says, you didn't see my tears. We need to talk. Okay. <sighs> they said they were crying over you. Your person. Clearly, your person said, you didn't see my tears. We need to talk. They were like being all strong in your face. Like they don't got no emotions, right? Like the reading. And when you turn your back and when you walk away, they in the couch. <laughs> crying over you, weeping over you, can't even breathe. Nose not coming out of their nose and everything. Looking like a crazy person. Looking so ugly while they crying. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Then we have one more. Your person. It says drama, drama. So much is going on. So much you need to know. Wow. You know, one thing I read about when I was reading the cards and I saw that this person needs to let you in. Like this person have not let you in and you think this person was cheating. You think this person has something else going on. But the thing is, they were struggling mentally because this card is a maybe them, may, maybe you. It's in between. It doesn't say your person. Clearly, the energy is like this is their person. This is their person. But right here, it says, I still remember you asking me if I cheated. Like this is something like you're proud of. But the thing, because you thought that this person was playing you, so you said, Scorpio, I don't know. Some Listen, Scorpio, don't come for me. There's messages, somebody from somebody. If it doesn't reply to you, don't worry about it. That you did not cheat on your person. But somebody here cheated, okay? And they're really proud about it. Because they thought that their person was cheating, but the gag is your man, your girl wasn't cheating on you. They were having a mental breakdown. They still is. <laughs> But they don't want you to see that because they don't want you to see them being weak. Not everybody think that having a mental breakdown is a pop is like, okay, normal. Some families, they don't like to talk about that stuff. Some families think that you're being weak. You're, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know people that I have to be careful how I talk about my mental illness because and my depression and what I think sometimes about life and, and all of this, like I struggle, like it's not. Everybody goes through this, but some, some people are just so cold. Like they just, you, you can't tell everybody about your secrets. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this person doesn't know if they can trust you or not because you seem so got it. Like you got it or you're appearing like you got it. And I know Scorpio, you're one of those signs that you don't because I'm a Scorpio. We all are connected. And if I feel this way and I'm picking up energies and I'm like really struggling, picking up other people's energies, and, you know, and, I, you know, this telepathic gift that I got, you are feeling the same way. So one day you're happy. One day you're not. One day you're feeling something. You're like, what is going on? Everything is good in my life. But why am I feeling this way? I'm picking up somebody's energy and you're just getting visions and you're just like, oh, what is going on? So I know like you just need to be a little bit more open to what's going on within your life because this person is saying like 
you seem to have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus within your moon or your rising. Like you seem like you are like stable. And this person is not stable at all. But this is what I have for y'all. Oh, wait, you know what? Girl, I'm about to leave y'all because we be talking, right? We be talking. I don't know if y'all gonna even stay at this side. If y'all made it to 135, put 135 in the comments. An hour and 35. <laughs> you got more. We want. I need to see how you feel for this person because I didn't even do you. I, I did the person, but I didn't do you. So let's just say, if y'all made it to 135, comment down below. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. Period. <laughs> I love y'all. Okay. I love y'all. All right. So let's see. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on for Scorpio? What's Scorpio's energy towards this person that's coming through? What's Scorpio's energy towards this person that's coming through? Scorpio's energy towards this person that's coming through. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Gods, thank you for being here for Scorpio. Ooh, what's going on for Scorpio's energy towards this person? Ooh, so you know they're dealing with some kind of stuff. Oh my God, look at that, Scorpio. You, you know that they're dealing with some kind of stuff. Look at that. You bring up the mental health, the King of Swords, the Seven of uh, Pentacles. You brought up them, their issues, the devil's energy. You saying that they're going through a lot of tens. And this is you. The transition. The breakup. The ending. A lot of you are just like, um, your thing is this person is not putting in no stability. That's what you're saying. Like, there's no stability here. They're, whatever they're going through, they just stop the stability. And it's all on you. And this is what's driving you insane. Like, at least put a little bit of stability in it. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just a little to make me feel like you're trying something. There's no communication. It's like they cut off all form of communication as well. And we did see that. We did see that you and this person not even talking. Because all men, like, uh, me what is it? Masculine, feminine energy. Whoever you are within this reading. Okay, and when I say men, um, phys uh, what is it, feminine and masculine energy? Because listen, that could be anybody. It doesn't have to be what you are here in this physical world. A man or a woman, a woman could have a masculine, a man could have a feminine, or a man could have both, or a woman could have both. Okay, that's how we function every day. You know, back in the day, a woman was only meant to have a woman within this physical world was only meant to have a feminine energy. And if she had a masculine energy, that would be an issue because uh, they used to be beheaded, right? <laughs> they can't talk to their husband a certain way, right? Like, so if she had a masculine, she would get herself killed or it doesn't even matter what color, you know, I'm not talking about slavery, y'all. I'm talking about whites everything blacks it does whatever you are a woman never used to have no form of say okay so now it's the same way within the past but now we're more open within this time so when i'm telling you masculine this could be a woman that is like really holding it together making the moves you know, really make it, putting stamps, right? Masculine energy, like, okay, this is going to happen. I'm saying it's going to happen. It's going to happen. They're being the provider of the relationship, making the moves within the relationship. Masculine energy, okay? A feminine energy is someone that is definitely successful as well, but caring, more nurturing. What can I rub your feet? Could I rub your back? <laughs> Could I make you dinner? Clean the house. Make sure the house is great. You may, You know, like stuff like that taking you out, being very, you know, emotional, open emotionally, being very like, I help you with all your successes. I'll give you ideas and it's calm and collective and your trust is just trustworthy. It's more, um, a feminine energy to me, it's more easier to approach because it is so open and it's so nice and it's so free and so light. It's like the sun. Yeah. It's like the sun. Um, 
and you just feel like a mother, like a mother, like a motherly energy, like how a mother takes care of you, right? But that could also be a man's energy, you know? A man could come off that way. And some people think that they're, you know, whatever, they, they're, they you know, into other guys, but that's not the case. Some guys just are, are just very feminine, and it's, it, it, I, I, I personally don't care, f you know, don't care what, what the energy is. I love everybody. Um, but it's just so interesting, you know, and I'm seeing like you are showing up as a masculine here. And the crazy thing about this is Scorpio is that this person wants to appear to be a masculine, but they're so tainted. They're so tainted. There's you and you, the crazy thing is like this person saying that they're not telling you all this because clearly it's clearly there is no communication. And you're saying that like, you're looking at this person's energy and you're just like, how I feel is like, there was no, like you're really telling me and cursing me out. Like Jay, you're not cursing me about you. You're not telling me, you're telling me like period. <laughs> like you're like, Jay, this person ain't putting in no stability. Period. And if it was just a little bit, I'll be all right with that. There is no communication. This person shut themselves out, shut themselves off from me. Period. There is no communication. I know they're going through some kind of mental breakdown. I know it. I've been around it. I see it. I know they're going through some kind of addiction, some kind of struggle. I know that I see the little steps that they take, but it's just not enough. I want more. That's what you're saying here. I want more. This person has a lot of trials and tribulations that they need to let go of. I'm not their mama. <laughs> J-Lo, I'm not their mama. Oh, God, y'all. I love that song, but don't know the lyrics, okay? Listen, you're saying that this person have a lot of trials and tribulation, a lot of stopping in the back, a lot of things that they haven't healed from. And you're saying, Jay, I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to walk away. I've been there for this person. I'm the one holding things down, but this person ain't trying to help me. Not even a little bit, not even a 3%, not even a 7% of work. And this person is begging you. They're saying that they don't want you to leave. You know, they don't want you to leave, but you feel like you have learned as much as you can within this relationship and there needs to be a new beginning and you feel like if you don't do this and walk away from this energy like there's no change you don't feel like it's going to be a change tell me more could i clarify this death holy spirit what is this what is this about is, is, is scorpio correct is there no change within the situation within this death is there no change within this situation for scorpio yeah, there are no change. Oh my God, Scorpio, I'm sorry. This video is going to be like two hours long. Okay? Uh, wow, you right. <laughs> it says no. Well, kind of, well, it depends. It depends. I'm going to say the card is a no card, but I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling because it's no change if this person and the crazy thing about this is we had the seven of swords energy came up for this person so many times within the read okay and they need to talk to you they need to tell you the truth and i felt like we had a card that said that we need to talk right yes you want your person said that you had you did not see my tears we need to talk so they need to tell you what is happening here before other people come to you and tell you what's happening and it's simple for it to have some kind of new beginning because that's what all you want you want to know what's going on you want to know why this person is shutting down you want to know about you know that they give you a little bit of details about this past energy about what they've been through but they haven't gone into details about what happened within their childhood what kind of addiction they were having. How they felt about themselves. Tell me more. Wow, you have the 10 here. This, oof, So you feel like this is faded. You just like this person. Like y'all have mutual feelings for each other. Like you just can't explain it, but this is your destiny. 
Like you feel like you are just drawn back to this person and you have a it's true like a, a passion for this person. Like you could be moving on with your life and you just feel like, oh, I gotta miss this person. Like you don't wanna be intimate with nobody but this person. You feel like you wanted to explore the world with this person. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of uh, Wands energy. But again, look at that. Your energy, like your emotions are shut off, Scorps. There isn't, look at these cards. You're not, you're not trying to even say I love you, this person right now. There's no heart here except for this one. And it's in reverse, the cups. There's no emotions here. Like everything has clouded your, your heart. You're making decisions based on fear right now. This is what I'm saying. Like, because there's no heart energy. There's all of the, what this person has done, what's going on, what you feel. There's no, like, you're afraid. Look at that. A lot of you are going for a divorce if you're married to this person. <sighs> Look at that strength. You're, you're afraid. You're afraid. You have you feel exhausted. You feel like you're tired. You feel like you know what? You don't know how to deal with this, solve this situation. You're doubting this energy. You're self-doubting yourself here within the strength. I'm seeing Leo energy for those of you. Leo is coming up twice within this major arcana, within this wheel of fortune, within this uh what, what is it, strength card? Angel Michael is putting the strength within your heart. But you feel like, oh my God. Capricorn is also Major Arcana. Scorpio as well. For those of you, I'm seeing justice in reverse. So you felt like you've been lied to, like you were um, feared in this energy. Because you know that there is something coming up that is going to quit this energy. Like, why am I hearing like somebody saying, if I hear about anything... That I ask you about, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> like you making it very clear, like, look, if I hear about, but somebody clearly cheated here because we had that cheating card. I don't know if it's your person or you because it didn't say your person on it. So somebody cheated here, okay? Period. Think somebody asked someone, point out, did you cheat on me? And they were like, no. <laughs> Y'all, we had the King of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Similar energy as well. Like, you feel like this person and you have same, like, the same energy. So, a lot of y'all could have a lot of fire in your chart. Some kind of similarities, but you're just not vibrating the same energy together. That's what you're saying here. Scorpio, you're not vibrating the same energy at all. You're on like, like you're you're being very demanding. This is what I'm getting because you want some answers from this person. And you're really like waking up. But I'm seeing like at the same time it's coming from a good place. Like you want to be successful. You don't want to be here and look like a fool. Okay. This person is coming off confused, but there is a contract. As you can see, the Six of Cups, the Six of Wands. You don't want to end this. You see, you're making decisions based on fear. The Six of, the, what did I say? The Six of Cups, the Six of Swords. What the hell? Six of Cups, Six of, okay. Well, I did say okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> six of Swords energy. You don't want to end this. You don't want to end this. You don't want to end this. You feel like there's some kind of fear within this. You're moving some with some kind of fear within the Six of Swords. You can't move on. There's something holding you back. Something about the past that you're stuck in. But your energy has shifted when it comes to this, the, the love for this person. Something has shifted for you. Like you're not feeling the same. Like this person wants to still be with you, can't stop thinking about you. but And you are still having memories with this person as well. Like you feel some kind of connection with this person as well. You can't help it. You feel like something is coming up. 
but this person hurt you as well and the crazy thing it doesn't have to be like this person hurt you with the three of swords but because i didn't see the three of swords did i this whole time i saw the seven of cups but i'm just getting like this person hurt you in a different ways scorpio I'm getting cancer here, Major Arcana. For those of you who resonate with that, that's a confirmation for you. And this person is seeming like they don't know what they want. They're giving you that expression like they don't know what they want, right? And you feel like there might be just with somebody else, the way they're moving. That's, that's what you're feeling. That's what you're giving me, that vibe, you know? Tell me more. But this person... It's giving me that four of pentacles. So tell me more. No. They just got money issues. <laughs> they got stability issues. You two, they feel like you're too good for them. Like they can't, you know what I'm getting? Like this person is trying so hard to be on your level. And they are going so going through so much depression that some days are good and some days are bad. And they're losing. Sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to do anything. Because when you have that depression and you're stuck into that depression, you don't want to do anything. You just want to cover up with the sheets. And this is what this person is giving me. And it's like they disappear on you. I'm getting disappearing vibes. Like you can't get them three days later. Like what the hell? I'm calling you, texting you. I have no, I don't know if you're alive or what. crazy tell me more one at a time look at that Aries energy <laughs> i'm about to i'm about to shades Aries, but Aries is a good sign but it's like for that sign to actually fall out when i think about somebody sitting in the dark and crying over you it's always some Aries. <laughs> if they're not in a up like upbeat energy they're going to be crying over you in the dark, TV off and everything. When you come in, turn on the light, you see them on the couch in the dark. Ain't that some sheer, scary shit? But that's what it is. If Aries ain't having a good life and full of depression, they usually come from toxic backgrounds too. It's Leos too, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Leos have it rough. And, and the thing with Leos, like they will do anything to survive. Doesn't matter if they got to jump on a pole, okay? They have no, no, they don't care. They'll have to do it. They don't, they're not very prideful when it comes to making money and how to make money. They will do it. Even if they have to sleep around and get paid, they will do it, okay? Leos. They will do it. They're not like, you know, a lot of different signs, okay? <laughs> that that don't want to that that's very prideful but i'm seeing this person coming back to you and giving you something or trying to give you back something um and you know it you know it but you're saying it's not enough this is the thing you see this this energy coming through like they're trying to give you back something it's like a part of you know what's going on but a part of you feels like because of society like this is what's going on this is really what's going on but I'm seeing like this person is very d hard to deal with too because like you're cutting them off or they're cutting you off. And I'm seeing like you blocking this person because they are very like they're not getting the message that you're trying to give them, Scorpio. It's like they're making promises or promising you something and it's never coming true. And so you're just like really disappointed at this point. They're pushing you away. You feel by yourself this person is in and out of your life. I'm going to end it right here. Okay? There's a huge regret here too that's coming up. A lot of you, not all of you. Okay? Because it says hopelessness. Okay? Eight of Cups. There's some huge regret here. Somebody walking away and looking behind. Um, 
And again, Scorpio, this is your energy and you're feeling like, okay, there's a separation or a transition that's happening and you're not ready for it because you're making decisions based on fear. Don't know who this message is for, but obviously the angels had me sitting here two hours, okay? Trying to get, you had, you guys have a lot of messages, but I feel like it's because I've been giving you 10 minute messages and as soon as I'm tapping into the energy, the 10 minutes up. So the angels had me sit here today and do an energy pool okay and this is what's going on so most of the week hopefully the hopefully i got everything out hopefully i got everything out that the angels wanted you to, to hear okay but this is what i have scorpio i'm still gonna try to do your 24 hours um i'm still gonna try to do today's what no contact as well read but you know those are gonna be 10 minutes i'm just hoping that this video is what the angels like it's done angels what any other messages i'm sure it is but i'm not pulling no more cards <laughs> this is it i don't know how long this video is going to take to upload love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys oh everything is in the description for personals for readings for classes if you want to learn tarot all that information is down below um, all the prices are down below. Everything is updated in the description box, you guys. So check that out before sending an email. I shouldn't have to receive an email saying like, what's the prices? The prices are in the description box. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.